Hello, welcome to the tutorial on solar load model in Fluent. First of all, we will open the mesh file of a room with its surroundings. Now we will follow the routine of first checking the scale dimensions which is in range then go for check mesh since we have cleared both the checks let's go and understand the geometry first so here we have a air domain which contains a single room on which we will be studying the solar loading effects then we have the ground and inside the domain we have a room with its thickness modeled which has two windows and one door. In our case we will let the air to pass inside the room and come out of this window. Now we will begin with our setup. As this is a tutorial of solar loading model I will be displaying the solar loading details and rest all I will be doing in background. So as you can see I have turned on gravity with correct orientation. Then we will go and start solar loading model setup which is under radiation tab in models. Go for edit solar load models turn it on. So here I have given basic inputs to the solar loading model. Now I will close it. So finally all details have been saved in our model. Now the next step is to set up all external details and go for initialization. As I have already set up rest all details, I will directly go for initialization. But a point to be noted while initializing is, whenever you initialize a solar loading model details into your case, you have to start fluent in serial mode not in parallel mode because parallel mode initialization of solar loading model is not allowed. So make sure you initialize your model with solar loading by starting fluent in serial mode. Go for compute all zones and initialize. Here in the text window we can see the amount of solar loading being added to each and every wall. Now that the heat loading has been directly provided onto each walls, we can see the contours of the loading right now. So we will see contours of wall fluxes, solar heat flux, go for field, select all walls. While making selections of surfaces, please make sure that the correct wall is selected which contain solar loading because this might happen that you have wall and its shadow so please make sure that you are selecting the correct correct wall or its shadow whichever has the loading now i'll go on displaying it the levels of 100 for a better understanding we can display the mesh also with all walls and its outline then display contours yes now for better mode I'll go to display mode if you're able to see the shadow zone is visible clearly and the loading is very nicely distributed on perpendicular surfaces and almost parallel surfaces. This is the loading because of the reflected rays as rays cannot directly reach the shadow zone. You can see all the walls in the shadow zone of the same contour level. That is of the same loading values inside domains and external shadow surfaces. Now we will see some more pictures of solar loading models. So this is the direction of the sun and you, and you see the red surfaces are the heavily loaded and accordingly others are being loaded. 
from the opposite side if we see roof and front wall removed we can see the floor surface here is heavily loaded because it is the solar load coming from the window now coming back to our fluent we'll now go and start the simulation and we'll start our calculation so we can give something like 1000 iterations and start with our calculation and thus begins the calculation as I have already done the simulation I will now read the data file first of all let's go and check the fluxes we'll check total mass flow rate for inlets and outlets As you can see it is completely balanced. We will proceed towards few qualitative results starting with contours of temperatures. Well flow coming from the right and going towards left. Here we can see the temperature contours on the outer surfaces of the room. Looking at it from a different angle. Here flow is coming from left and going towards right. Now we are looking at the contours of temperature at the central plane. So we have low temperature at the inlet that is air temperature and then it is growing inside the room due to the solar loading. One more thing we can see from this contour is that the wall conduction. Now in a zoomed out view, we see how the heat is carried to air. Now let us watch the contours of velocity again at the central plane. So here we can see the velocity decreasing as we approach the room. We can see high velocities at the windows. Now we are looking at the Z velocity that is the vertical velocity at the central plane. Here all the areas which are not colored with dark blue have velocities in positive vertical direction. That is air is going up in those places. What we see here is once air enters the room from the window it tends to rise up because of natural convection. And the yellow colored zone we see here is basically the flow path which tends to rise above the room while it is passing over it. Now let's see few of the vector plots. This is velocity plot colored by velocity magnitude. Now here we have combination of vectors and contours both based on the velocity magnitude. In this picture we can see the flow circulation caused by the natural convection. Here the solar loading effects of the sun rays coming from the window is clearly visible. Now let's see few path lines. Here we can see the flow distribution velocity colored path lines. In the next one here we see temperature colored path lines. It is clearly visible in this image that air at ambient temperature is entering the room but gets heated up due to solar loading and exits the room with a higher temperature. Thank you.